Do you know what I really miss? VHS rental shops, and I'm not talking about your Blockbuster video, I'm talking about the small family home VHS rental shops that were around long before Blockbuster ever made an appearance. There was something special about walking through those doors. My local was called Video Vision, and it holds some of my most fondest memories. And today, I want to talk about some of those memories and talk about what it was like to step foot in a VHS rental shop back in the 80s. But to do that, I think we're going to have to travel back through time. We made it. And this is exactly how I remember it. This is what the front desks used to look like at the video shop rental places. The video shop was one of my all time favorite places to be. It was only a small shop with two walls full of big box VHS tapes sticking up with the price of the rental and how many nights you got to keep them. It's an experience that I'll never forget. The smell of the place as you step through the door, the small CRTV on the counter playing some of the newest movies, the sweets on the rotating stand by the desk, and the way all the front covers of the VHS boxes caught your eye as you stepped over the threshold of the shop. And then there's a browsing, looking for that perfect movie, your next favourite movie. A movie that could go on to be the next cult classic, but at the time you had no idea which one of these movies it may be. 30 years on, you're probably still watching one of those movies you rented on your super large flat TV on your favourite streaming service. And you know what, I still remember the layout of my local video shop to this very day. On the left hand side, just as you walk in, that was where you would find the brand new releases. And this wasn't like a blockbuster store who would have over 20 of the brand new releases. No, in my video store you would have had about maybe 3 or 4 copies if you were lucky. And if I'm being perfectly honest, on many occasions the movie that you wanted wasn't available, but man, when it was, you got a flood of happiness when you grabbed that box and claimed it for yourself. As we go further down to the bottom of the shop where the front counter was, you had the slightly older releases, the movies that had been out for a few weeks or months, and in the middle there were freestanding units all dedicated to a certain genre like horror and science fiction and action, etc. And then on the wall to the right was the adult films, and I don't mean adult films. Yeah, baby! Yeah. <laughs> Out. I mean the romance films, the thrillers, things like that. And then a little further down the shop, where you approach the door where you came in, you would find the ex rental sections, the movies the store no longer wanted, and now you had the chance to purchase some of your all time favourite movies for a bargain price. Now, my favourite sections in the video shop all depended on who I had gone to the shop with. At the time, I was only a kid and I wasn't old enough to rent anything above a PG or a U. But my parents didn't mind renting me some of the older titles like Terminator, Die Hard, Predator, Robocop and movies like that. Movies that I really shouldn't have been watching but for some reason I did and was allowed to. My most happiest memory is when I got my very own membership card, just a plain piece of old card. And I think there may have been a loyalty scheme on the card as well, you know, rent six tapes, get one free, that kind of thing. And on occasions when I visited the video shop alone, I had to rent the more family friendly movies, which was great, I didn't mind at all. I normally got £2 pocket money at the weekend. Please sir, I want some more. <laughs> and the kids VHS tapes were only 50p each for a night. A bargain. <laughs> and of course I rented some of these titles more than once. Some of my favourites were the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I liked watching the Tiny Toon Adventures, one of my favourite movies was Willow, Short Circuit, Star Wars, Mac and Me for some reason, I, I like that movie, Ghostbusters, the, the list just went on and on and there was always a wide selection for me to choose from for 50p. Of course at times I did try my luck and I tried to pick up a movie with an age certificate of 15 like Batman or Batman Returns and of course I got refused but it didn't stop me from trying again. I remember that the staff came to know me because I was in there all the time, it was one of my favourite places to be and I'm pretty sure that I weren't a nuisance to them because they used to give me posters off the wall including the blue tack and then I'd go on and put them on my wall in my bedroom. I remember picking up the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 poster and I'd asked for this poster week after week after week and then eventually they gave it to me and it was one of my most cherished possessions in the whole wide world. I wish I still had it to this day. But these happy times weren't to last. One day my favourite place in the whole world announced that it was closing. All the VHS tapes were on sale at extremely low prices. 
I asked my mother to take me in with my pocket money and I bought all the Nightmare on Elm Street movies in those big, beautiful, big rental boxes with the original iconic hand-drawn covers, something that you don't really see nowadays. I also picked up Hot Shots 1 and 2 and a few Ninja Turtle cartoons and walked out with a collection of some of my favourite movies, but with a heavy heart. And the next time I passed by the shop, it was empty. The reason for Video Vision's closure, I'm sure, was because of Blockbuster opening in the same town, totally killing my little VHS shop. Blockbuster was still a great place to visit, but I felt like something was missing. Imagine the perfect video store. It would have a great selection, right? Right! Over 10,000 videos. Three evening rentals, so no rush, no hassle. Fast checkout, 24-hour quick drop return, open late every night. Well, the perfect video store... Welcome to Blockbuster Video! ...is popping up all over the country. There's one near you. The feel of that small family owned business that had so many hidden gems had been replaced by this fine oil machine that made it almost impossible not to get a movie you really wanted to watch. Now this should have been a positive and it was in many ways, don't get me wrong, I don't hate Blockbuster and it was cool to go in there and pick up the new release because they had about 40 copies of it. But there was just something lacking, there was something missing. Another thing I weren't a fan of was either staff all wore uniforms, and I know this isn't really a big deal, but the cool casualness of the good old video store had been replaced with this sterile nationwide business. But, like I said, I didn't really dislike Blockbuster Video, not at all. This was now the place to go, and I do have some fond memories of Blockbuster. It was here that I first rented Mask of the Phantasm and The Muppet Christmas Carol, Robin and Prince of Thieves, and of course, when I reached 15, I rented my first adult title, and I remember it to this day. Die Hard with a Vengeance. You became a and man, I can't explain to you how good it felt to actually walk out with that videotape in my hand. A 15 certificate. At last, I was a grown-up. Kind of. Eventually, VHS tapes began to phase out a little bit and DVDs were introduced onto the market. And Blockbuster were on top of the world for a while, but nothing lasts forever. Eventually, a little company named Netflix burst on the scene. And for a monthly price, you could rent your favourite DVD online and have them delivered to your door. You watched the movie and then posted it back the very next day and they would send you another one. And there were multiple subscriptions to choose from. You could choose to have one disc delivered at a time, two discs delivered at a time and it was unlimited so as fast as you sent them back they would send other ones. And people with DVD writers absolutely loved this store, so I've heard. Now in the UK at the time, Netflix wasn't as big as it is now and I don't think they did this rental service over here but there was a service called Love Film where I actually rented DVDs and I found myself visiting Blockbuster Video less and less. Eventually Netflix evolved into what we know it as today and the disc service continued for some time but finished in 2023 and this as well as pirated movies on websites eventually killed Blockbuster Video for good. And Blockbuster Video actually had the opportunity to buy Netflix at some point but turned down the opportunity who just couldn't see this future that was being presented to them. Nowadays, instead of browsing the rolls of VHS tapes, we now browse screen after screen of almost unlimited choice. It's almost like magic that we can find whatever we want to watch and be watching it in seconds. And although this is fantastic, in some ways it feels like the magic is gone. But not all is lost. There are a few places in the world where you can still find movie rental stores that refuse to die and offer the same experiences that you would have had back in the day. And if you own one of these stores, I salute you.